So here we have a centrifugal compressor and this is the impeller part of it. Um, and this is the front view of the impeller. So when air comes in, it it's going to hit the impeller. So it hits it here and we think of it as actually stopping once it hits this this surface here. So it stagnates. And then it'll the, the impeller will be rotating. So the air then will, will follow the the rotation of the of the impeller. Well let's go around like that. And then and then and then out on into the diffuser. Now when it leaves <coughs> the velocity of the air uh, at blade exit, so the velocity of it here will be equal to omega r, where this distance here is r. Okay, and omega is the uh, rotational velocity. Its uh, its velocity here at the inlet. So here we we've said it stagnates, so it stops momentarily, so it's gone to zero. Now the force is the mass flow times the change in velocity, and we know the power is force times velocity. So the power then is going to be this force times the velocity here at at the exit. But I've said that the velocity at the inlet is zero, so the power becomes m v b e squared okay vbe by vbe now that's assuming that it is a uh, 100% efficient that the you know air leaving here is is at that velocity it won't be so we have this efficiency factor called slip here so that's an efficiency factor so the actual power uh, required to turn the compressor centrifugal compressor is this value here 